hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how to install kali linux on windows 11 using vmware workstation pro vmware allows us to run multiple operating system on a single physical machine and kali linux is a powerful open source platform designed for cyber security professional and as a general user you can simply explore a different linux distribution okay and if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified of our latest tech tutorials so let's get started before we begin let's go over what you will need for this installation a windows 11 pc kali linux iso image vmware workstation pro minimum 2 gb of ram minimum 20 gb free disk space Okay, so first let's download the Kali Linux ISO file. So for that open your web browser and here you need to search for Kali Linux. And in the search result go to the Kali.org official websites. And now you can see is the most advanced penetration testing distribution. Okay. And here you just click on download. And you will get two options over here installer images and virtual machine you need to click on installer images okay so then you will get different installer option for 32 bit and 64 bit for most users the 64 bit version will be appropriate okay so simply click on the download arrow and your download should start automatically and you can see it's around 4 gb of size so this might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed okay once the download has completed successfully, we can now proceed to the next step of creating the virtual machine. So once again, open your web browser and this time head over to the VMware official websites and download the latest version of Workstation Pro for Windows from there. And nowadays, if you click on the download link, it will redirect you to the Broadcom websites. This is new. Okay. And you need to download it from there and the process has changed and you need to fill out a few steps in order to download this okay but don't worry if you run into any problem i have already made a separate video covering the entire process and i have already given the link in the description below so that you can check from there okay so once you install the vmware workstation pro it will look like this and here you need to click on create a new virtual machine You can choose either typical or custom wizard if you are a new user i recommend selecting the first option okay which is uh, typical recommended and then click on next once the next window appear you need to provide the color Linux iso okay by click on the browse options and now navigate to the folder where you download the file usually vmware detects the operating system automatically however you might display the following error saying could not detect you can see from here okay you just ignore the warning and select next on the next screen choose the guest operating system uh, that is linux and in the version drop down select the latest version of debian which is debian 12 into x 64 bit as kali support debian linux distribution okay so then click on next if you want give your virtual machine a name okay so that this name is not fixed and can be any name of your choice i'm going to name it kali vm additionally you can also change the location of the virtual machine or leave it as is okay then click on next and here you need to specify disk capacity you need to specify the amount of hard disk space the virtual machine can use okay so I'm going to make it 50 GB or you can leave the default setting that is 20 GB. According to your system specification, you can reduce or increase the space. Okay. And then click on next. Finally, in the last dialog box, review all the settings. And if you want, you can customize the hardware settings also. So let's click on the customize hardware to adjust the settings. And from here, you can allocate more RAM. Okay. For these virtual machines. So minimum 4 GB is recommended. So I'm going to make it 4 GB. And number of core processor, I'm going to set it to 2. 
and then click on close when we are done okay so once everything is in order click on finish to create your virtual machine after creating a new virtual machine now you need to install Kali Linux so for that click on power on this virtual machine and VMware will now boot into Kali Linux when the virtual machine starts you will see the Kali Linux boot menu and uh, you will get a list of options to install Kali Linux you can see so from here you need to select graphical install using the arrow keys on keyboard and press enter now select your preferred language by default it will be English and click continue in the next screen choose your country okay and uh, click continue to proceed next select the native keyboard layout using the arrow key by default it is American English and this should begin the installation of the operating system okay So in the next screen, enter a host name for your system and click continue. And here you need to enter the domain name for your system. I will leave it blank. And in this screen, it will ask for setup users and password. This is very important. Without the username and password, you will not be able to log into your Kali Linux machine. Okay. And it says type a full name for the new user to create an account. So I'm going to name it Tech Info Card. Then click on continue. On the next screen, you would need to enter the username for your account. Okay, so I'm going to name it Tech, then click on continue. And here you need to choose a password for the new user, which you will use to enter into your system post installation. Okay. After that, again, you need to re-enter password to verify and then click on continue. Now it's time to partition your hard disks. You need to just keep this at default. That is guided use enter disk and hit continue. Again, click on continue. And in the next screen, the installation wizard will ask you to choose a partition scheme. So you need to highlight the option that says all files in one partition recommended for new user. And click on continue. And here, select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click on continue. Select yes for confirming the changes and click on continue. In the next screen, in case you want to add some additional software, you can select it on the following screen like Genome, KDE Plasma and then click on continue to proceed. Now wait for another few minutes to complete the setup. Okay. And here install the Grab Bootloader. Select yes and click continue. Install the Grab Bootloader by selecting Dev SDA bootloader device. Okay. And followed by continue. This installation process can take some time. So please be patient because it's Kali Linux. The installation might be a bit lengthy. So grab a cup of coffee, relax and let the installer do its job. Once the installation is complete, Click continue to reboot the virtual machine. After rebooting, you have to select Kali Linux and hit the enter key. And you will see the Kali Linux login screen. So now you need to log in with the root user. Just click on it. And here you need to type the password you created earlier. And congratulations, you now have Kali Linux running on your Windows 11 machine using VMware Workstation Pro. So take some time to explore this new environment. 
and here if you want to make this full screen just click on the full screen button in the VMware toolbar and it will expand to cover your entire screen okay so enjoy your new setup and that's it for this tutorial i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials if you have any questions or run into any issue leave a comments below and i will do my best to help you out so thanks for watching and see you in the next video